add some dome lighting with this LED strip to my car just to get some um, some driving light while I drive because sometimes it gets dark so what you do is you, you mark the inside of the panel with the length and the width of the LED stripe I'm only using here a 5 LED strip marking it all the way around and then I'm flipping them over and roughly estimating as to where each LED is going to end up those will be the points that we're going to drill through I'm going to be using a very small drill bit, only a 4mm drill bit because I don't want all of the intensity of the LED to come through the panel. I just need it to be an ambient light. Even though the radio has backlighting on it. Hole's gonna go into the panel. tape just to make sure that I drill the holes in the proper places and make sure that everything aligns correctly it's a lot better to test everything before you actually put the panel back on the car because that's the holes you drilled are not right or the strip is not aligning properly with, uh, with the hole. There you go. See? Now, I should add that um, for the camera, this light actually seems bright. But if we go outside to the car, unfortunately in my case I couldn't get one of the, the electrical connections from the from the compass, I couldn't get it off, it was stuck in there, so I just worked my way around it. But if you manage to get all of the connections loose, you can get the whole panel, disassemble it on a workbench or on a table or whatever, and then put it all back together, and then you just pop in the connections and you're good to go. And you're not gonna be faced with an awkward working position like I had to. You see that those those wires that go to the, um, the all the buttons and the computer panel that's behind that they did not want to come off and I didn't want to break them so I just left them in and worked my way around them. now the bad part for is that uh, for the Chrysler Voyager or um, the Dodge Caravan or the Chrysler Town and Country and even for some Jeeps um, like the Cherokee and some Grand Cherokees um, is that um, this panel actually contains a lot of screws now to get everything off it's actually a three-part job it takes a while just be patient and you'll get it off real easy popping it back in is really a piece of cake because you already know where the fasteners are basically this whole panel is held in by one screw and two pop-in fasteners and that's it you should go actually from the windscreen side first and then the rear side and after you manage to find the fasteners you can see that you're pretty much done. And then you open the 
glass compartment. Have a hole in the entrance too. And that's it. Make sure that this fastener is popped in. This is an after shot, a before shot actually. See how dark it is inside. Even though some of the cameras don't pick up the actual light, this is actually how dark it is in my car every day. And then this is an after picture. See, it's a lot better. It's not a lot of light, but it's enough as to, I don't know, find whatever you need, find USB. Yeah. 